I'm going to talk through drawing two separate critical paths. Assuming at least some knowledge on how they are constructed. But I will be suggesting a way of approaching it, which maybe you've not met, which tends to help you get a neater, correct answer more frequently. Now, if we look at the first one, we can see a series of activities and a reminder that these precedences tell you what must come before. So, for example, activity A must come before C, B before D, A and B before E. Now, A and B have no precedence, so they can begin straight away. And I use dotted lines to represent A and B. So A and B can start. I don't close them off yet. I indicate their existence. Here's A and here's B. Now then, C must come after A. So I put a dotted line after it, label it roughly C, and D comes after B, so I dot this and put D after B. Now to finish off, E comes after both A and B. Now, as it stands, we can't achieve this without extending A and B down like so, putting a dot and then having E coming out like so. Now these extensions are called dummy variables and they help to achieve this criteria here in the diagram. Now I now go over the entire thing in ink. So we had A, we have B, we had to extend using dummies, which we use with dotted lines, a theoretical extension of A and B, to then allow activity E to take place after A and B. Then we have C and D coming out like so, and we finish off the entire network at one point, so we extend C down and we extend D up like so, and that is the first critical path network. Now for the second one. Now once again, A and B have no precedence, so we can begin A and B, but C comes after A and B. So we dot A and B around and put C. But D and E come after C, so there's D and there's E, but F comes after E, so F goes like so. Now we then make the whole thing formalised. Now we have a start and A and B. Now A and B lead to this one point directly. Now there's a quirk, if you like, of this, which says you can't have two solid arcs which start and finish at the same node and what we do is we stop either of them at a point like so and then put in a dummy to extend A and this gives A and B a unique start and end point. We then have C, E, 
and F and then D comes around and we finish it off at the same place as F to create a final node in the network and that is the correct network for that table with that quirk where you cannot have two distinct arcs starting and finishing at the same place.